Hello there! I'm Dave! The real Dave from Versus Dave and Mambi. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make a Mambi type non chromatic into a chromatic without using Newton or Melodyne. This tutorial is mainly for chromatics that turn out bad with the two previously mentioned programs slash VST programs, but you can use this even if it is fine with those programs. Firstly, open up FL Studio. This tutorial is FL Studio only as far as I'm aware. You're going to need a mixer track assigned to the character of choice. I chose mixer track 1 since that's what this FLP is using. You're going to need care V as well. I'll leave a link in the description to Panzu's How to Make Boyfriend's Voice video as he goes over how to use Care V and navigate its settings. I will also leave a link on how to install FL Studio Plugins. First, let's take a listen on how this sounds normally without any of our magic. <laughs> Notice how Soup, the character, in place of Squidward, doesn't match the pitches of the notes unlike Boyfriend. We're gonna fix that. Go back to the mixer track you assigned to the character, then click on the Care V that you added to the mixer track. These are the settings you should have your Care V set to. These are the default settings, so you should be good to go if you just put it in for the first time. If you adjusted the shift, find or transpose knobs to pitch your character up or down, you can leave those as you have them. You're going to want to click the gear in the corner of your care view window, which should make another tap pop up and make the gear turn lime green. Then, click on the plug icon with a gear next to it. This brings you to the advanced settings. These are what we'll need to fully chromaticize our character. Make sure you have your settings as what they are on screen before you continue to the next step, which is setting up the port tracks to your specific character. In the MIDI tab of the advanced settings, change the input port scroller to zero. If you're using multiple characters that use this same technique of pitching, you may turn it up another number, but for this example, since we're only using one character, we're gonna keep it at zero. This scroller acts as us telling the program which specific quote-unquote track we want Care V to pull its pitching from, sorta of like its own unique mixer track. You can't see my window here, but I'm currently adding a new instrument track using the More Plugins button at the top of the instrument adder. What you're gonna wanna add is a track called MIDI Out. Since we set our Care V's MIDI input port setting to zero, just adding MIDI Out will give us the ability to pitch our character. If you have your input port setting set to something other than zero, however, change the port setting in the corner of the MIDI out plugin to match the number you set it to in Care V. If you haven't changed the note order in your FLP yet, hit Ctrl in the piano roll to select every note in the pattern that your character sings in, then go into MIDI out's piano roll and paste it in place with your character's notes with Ctrl V. If you need to, use CTRL up or CTRL down in MIDI out's piano roll with a note selected to transpose the melody up or down an octave so that it's not too high or too low. Now, hit play to hear your character sing. If everything went well, you should have your character be singing the actual notes of the song. Congratulations! You graduated the non-chromatic to chromatic class! Hip hip hooray! <laughs>